Welcome back to Let's Play Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time I uh, fought my way out of the Black Rock Quarry, which was, uh, frankly, a much more harrowing experience than I was expecting. Let's start off by giving a shout out to Yornick, who suggested that the Black Rock Quarry might be dangerous. But it's nothing compared to the C&C Music Factory. Now that location gonna make you sweat. And then he insists he's not sorry. <laughs> I like this. Also, shout out to Gundy's Lackey. Every so often they leave a comment that just says, Hey, keep up the good work. I liked this video. And you know what? I like the positivity. Oh, yes, wrong direction. This time we're going into the luck and probability area again. God damn it, I didn't write this one down, because I wasn't actually expecting to go here this time. Okay. Let me see here. Ooh. Okay. The wooden elephant. I did a search for wooden elephant luck, and it brought up a thing about Feng Shui. It says, uh, wooden elephants with their trunks up are regarded as the most lucky, and for prosperity should be placed in groups of eight or nine in the wealth area of the house, wherever you perceive that to be. Well, apparently they should always face the door. Hmm. Well, you know, they're not experts on feng shui, I guess. Uh, what was the other one? Yeah, the fish. Well, apparently, uh, let me see here. I'm going to get the exact wording on this. Yeah, here it is. Uh, Another feng shui thing that you uh, traditionally you put uh, goldfish in aquariums uh, because a goldfish are a type of carp and carp are considered very lucky in Asian cultures and second because uh, they're connected they're considered to be connected to wealth and prosperity because of their gold color. It's very interesting to me. not hook it up because that would make a terrible mess. But I'm guessing it was about this room right here since it needs a... Yeah, Derek Floyd told me to come back when I had level 5 clearance. That's better. And I'm glad to hear that noise again. Except for the one of the quarry, I guess. I like that they had such a problem with people eating the mold that they did that. For a moment, I thought those were letters hidden in the teeth, but unless it says uh, T-K-U-R, uh, I don't know what that would be. The fuck? Oh, the light. Let's leave that as it is and look around. We've got another light and another light. And we've got a roulette wheel. Uh, sorry, a roulette table. And some another light and some lore. One, two, three lights. The table, the wheel. Uh -huh. Alright, I don't know what that shit on the right is, but let's see. Okay, so I guess it's trying to say that four leaf clovers are lucky. Uh, having lots of light is lucky. They don't know if the elephant statue, the fish, uh, the it's not the fish, the uh, horseshoe, and I didn't. Oh, and or the cat uh, are actually lucky. But they've determined that the fish actually makes things luckier when it's uh, right next to them. Oh, and luck goes up when I'm not in the room. I have to walk away from the table. Or, I guess... Ah! I don't step inside there! What? How the fuck do I activate it if I can't go up here? Well, there was a lure over here somewhere. No, it was on the other end of the room. I got turned around. Maybe this will help. Lucky item manifest. Federal Bureau of Control, lucky item manifest. Oh, well, there we go. Bronze koi fish, China. Attracts abundance and wealth, feng shui. Horseshoe, Ireland. 
wards off evil. Orientation important. Heals up allows luck to be kept. Heals down, luck flows outward. Maneki Niko, Japan. Beckoning cat used in shops. Paw held up to beckon customers, creating luck for the business owner. Four Leaf Clover, Ireland. Shamrock, rare plant variation. Connections to, druid he to druidic healing rituals. Elephant, China. Protection, good luck, wisdom, feng shui. Light bulb, various. Documented gambling rituals indicate luck is produced when all lights in the room are turned on? You'd think the casino would get pissed about that, wasting all that electricity. Um, note, effects of I items to be tested. Consider investigating the, or the orientation of horseshoe. Also, consider positioning of feng shui objects. Oh, that's right! The whole thing about feng shui is that the positioning of things in your house creates, like, flows of energy that affect your life. Uh... Proximity of luck items may influence luck readings. For more information on ritual, you use lucky actions to perform and avoid and re irrelevance to OCD behavior. See file 9-28-1672. So I guess I need... Okay, first of all, I guess I need to bring the fish and put it on the table. That seems pretty straightforward. I remembered a thing about those, uh, I guess they're called Maneki Niko statues. Uh, they actually inspired the, uh, Pokemon Meowth. See, they've always got, they're always depicted as holding one of these flat coins, which is why Meowth has one on its forehead. And, uh, I can't remember if it was red or blue, but one of the G1 games, uh, the sprite for Meowth is actually sitting there, like that, on its haunches with one paw in the air. So I guess I'll activate that. And I'll take this, because I need this. I did grab that. Careful with the golden fish. Oh god, oh Jesus, oh fuck. Yeah, that's good. That's actually really good. You know, uh, that aside. Let's not grab that just yet. Ooh, ooh, planter! Well, I tried. All, right, all the lights on. Jesus, I can't actually tell if that's on or not. I guess it does get a bit yellower. Oh. Six? Why did that appear? Oh, fuck. Missed that one. Oh! Oh! The horseshoe! I just remind myself. Uh, was it? Fuck, was it this one? Okay, it was under research. Jeez. Got a lot of papers going on. Sorry about that. If my timer would restart, it would just... Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Embarrassing. I just wanted to make sure. Jeez. Okay, yes, heals up, because the, uh... The two pointy bits go at the back of the, uh, horse's foot. So I guess I'll just leave that. Perhaps annoying the elephant will help. Well, that's not going to make it worse or better. Wait, I wonder if that's actually going to affect it. Okay, 
Okay, I tried a bunch of other stuff. Six. Oh. So we wanted to get seven, huh? No, the fish! Oh. Seven! And I got uh, an outfit for that. Awesome! I guess it was just missing one of the lights, huh? Cool! So don't stand inside the thing and it'll be cool. I still think that's a modern ass printer. Or at least it really doesn't fit into the 50s, uh. The 50s, uh. You know, office theme that they seem to be going for. I'm curious. Can I do it again? Yes. It's not actually within two feet. You don't see that every day. I didn't actually catch what the outfit is. So this will be exciting. Let's just go back to... Oh, no. No! Dodged into a wall. That's standard. Okay. Oh, fuck it. All right. Hey, you want to see something cool? Photo mode. You can just sort of slide around wherever you want. I, uh, they also have this feature in the Mad Max game. Fuck. You guys are even more horrible up close. I didn't realize you could make out their bones. Probably not the best posture to be firing a shotgun from, but... What are you looking at? He said, shooting the guy who wasn't even facing in his direction. Oh, yes. Yes, that's right, I passed it, and then had to keep running, because there were explody men around. Oh, right, you can only do that in Central. I knew that. That's good to know. I wonder if the shield would even be useful at all against the explodey guys. Suit? Golden suit. <laughs> of course. Sure! Sure, let's go with a pantsuit. <laughs> oh, fuck, I look like Ronald McDonald. Well, dressed like Ronald McDonald, I should say, with that fucking yellow coat of his. I don't think he wears that anymore, does he? They kind of uh, downplayed the clown thing after the government yelled at them for marketing fast food and children. That kind of data breach. She must think he's hiding something. And I agree. 
The HRAs alone are proof Darling knew more than he let on. Uh huh? Oh. Hmm, I guess that makes him die more slowly. You know, that does sound actually kind of rad. Let's go uh, here so we can get that next time. I actually did just get. Uh, yes, more. Uh, it's more durable now, and I would it's show you, ridiculous. except that I can't do anything here. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So this is something very funny to me about a, uh, a business suit in mustard yellow. I guess it's really more of a gambling suit, isn't it? Oh, that is the bureau logo on the on the lapel. Had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it? She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. Oh, he was once known as Prime Candidate Six. Code name P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had towns far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him. We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. That's all I needed to hear. My brother... I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I suggest a bullet. I'm not here for them. Simple here. I think all these people need one. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Well, that's Are Jeremy. They my enemies or my friends? Yes. I need to see Dylan. I need to know. It is a fucking prison. I wish you could tell me what you know, explain things. Just stay with me, okay? I could use a friend right now. Ooh. That was heavy. Uh, thoughts in order? I... I didn't like that, uh... What is this? This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. Oh. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Sure, let's listen Case to this. number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. Oh, good. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. 
The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. But I cannot. No hiss followed you in, right? Uh, let me check. We don't need facilities here to analyze something as complex as the hiss. Both delusional. Nope. I mean, I teleported in right in front of her. Literally, right in front of her. <laughs> Something to go through things fast. What? Yes, I'm kind of disappointed we don't actually get to see what Darling's HRA machine does. Uh. In fact, that was probably intentional. I'm. And this whole, oh, between the thing about that guy, they just disappeared after he showed up again for being missing for a week, and the, uh, the story of Dylan here. Just fucking surrounded by monsters at this point. Doesn't matter if they have a hiss in them or not. Oh, hey. We were the same, you know, he's my brother. Well, you could put the sweetest fucking bear in the world in a cage and poke him and experiment on him for 17 years, and I don't think he'd be sweet and happy anymore. Actually, you know what? I will look at that in the research and records section on the next episode of Let's Play Control, because the timer has gone, and we should really get going. So I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you then. Later.